Hello, this is Telomir, and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we're working on an iPhone XR that is completely pulled apart right now. What we're going to be doing in this video is focusing on the power button. This power button right here is not working, and I think I might know why. I can vaguely see that there is something going on, and I'd like to show you what's happening underneath the microscope. So let's switch over to the soldering desk, and we'll see what's happening. So this right here, that's the power button. And what am I seeing right here? You see that? I'm pretty sure, sorry for the noise outside, but I'm pretty sure that power button is busted. The ribbon cable itself is torn. That definitely would explain why. I just don't know how this could have happened. So that does need to be replaced. But the problem with this being replaced is that it replaces also the flash and it also replaces the volume button, and also the mute and unmute rocker button. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced. I'm going to see if I have one that I can pull directly from another iPhone XR, maybe that I've already got gutted. And if I can't do that, I might just go ahead and put in an order for a new one on uh, from my from my parts provider. May as well show you guys my massive box of phones that are all used for parts. There is so many of them. A bunch of them, uh, I, I don't know why, but I have a lot of iPhone XRs. I'm just looking for one that's been emptied out. So this one here, you can see it has the power button still present and that module. And if I flip it over there, yeah, it's been stripped down a lot. You can see why it was a failed, I shouldn't say it's a failed repair. Something happened with the original phone and I decided to give up on it. Let's use this one. So this is going to be... At least pretty easy considering I've already got everything out. So to get this out it just requires a lot of screws to be removed. As you can see clearly when I remove this I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the other phone which means I'm gonna have to take out the... Uh, I, I'm definitely gonna have to take out the motherboard in order to get this all doing what I need it to do. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that that switch off because that's that's very color specific. Yeah it comes out. It comes out very easily. I don't see any screws that are holding this in place either. It needs to come out though, it's got to be clipped in. Once I get this side out, I should be able to get it out on the other side as well, but a lot faster and easier. So it's probably just hinged on on that side. There! Got it! How about the other side? Yeah, there we go, I thought so. Came out relatively easily afterwards. Okay, let's peel the rest of this out. Pull this out of the way. And be gentle. Oh, I still got to take the power button out. Okay, that right there is the flash and the microphone. How about the microphone? I can't use any alcohol, I don't think, on, on the microphone. That can be problematic. Let me see if I can just get underneath this. Similar to the earpiece, it has a microphone. Just a blank space underneath. Is this going to be even functional? Unfortunately, I just checked underneath the microscope because I was a little bit worried about that earpiece. The membrane was torn. There's a little membrane that's supposed to go over it. You can see the golden ring kind of right there. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, and it was partially torn away from from uh, the, the mic. And uh, I'm pretty sure that means that it's it's not dead, but it's not going to work properly anymore. So although I've got it all out, I can't use it because it's going to be defective when I put it in. So I got to find another. All right, I found another one. That's definitely more what I was expecting. You can't really see it, but basically I'm happy to see that there's no gold showing. I think I'm going to take out the face cam as well, just because it's going to make life a lot easier for getting around all these cables. Whole motherboard needs to come out. That means we got to disconnect all the cables and get the screws out. Now this doesn't have an incredible amount of screws. I'm going to be taking out the camera now that I have taken out the Phillips screw that I forgot to remove. This board is very easy to take out. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Let's get uh, that now off immediately before anything else. I just want to get this little clip off of here. I found out a way to do it that's relatively... I think it's relatively easy. Like that. <laughs> just kind of popped right off. Now it's just a matter of getting all the screws out. And I am going to need to know what order that these screws go in. So I'm going to put these all in their proper order. 
just in case, because I have seen that a few of the screws for these are different. It's not going to affect the motherboard at all, but it's going to be loose, and I don't want it to be loose. So just for reference here, I'm working out getting this silver button out of this out of this switch. And I'm noticing that the orange line is on the top. That's away from the flat side of the cables, like the flat side being the lower side. There's no cable on the upper side of this. So if I can take this out, there we go. That means that the new one, the new one, the one from the old phone also needs to be in that same pattern where it's the orange that goes on the top. You can see it here as well. Orange is on the top. That button's dirty. I think I've got this in place. So we can go and put this into the customer's phone now. Now there, there is an interesting thing here with, with this. Um, there's this weird hook. I'm just gonna pull this up for you guys to see. You see this weird hook thing? So this goes first and that's a hole for a screw is what that little C is. It's, it's, it's there to go underneath the rocker switch. Now for that final bit, I gotta run this along here. Then I can push this one in first, and the other one will follow. And now we got to put its shield back in place. I don't remember which direction it, like, it goes in, but logically speaking, it was hard to get out. The only reason it would be hard to get out if there is if there was a piece of material that was in an area that was covered by the camera. That's in place. How does it look on this side? It looks good. Now we just got two more screws in, to put in for the power button. We will be that much closer to being finished. We'll be we'll have the power button installed is what I mean. Okay, just gotta pull out oh out out of the way all of these cables. Come on. I miss any more? I think that's it. <laughs> nope, because there's one here too. There. I think we got it. Now I may as well put in all these connectors right now just to get them out of the way and it also holds it holds the motherboard in place a little bit better. Power button is replaced. I'm gonna have to turn it on to test it. There's some other stuff I gotta do as you can see quite clearly. I gotta do a back glass replacement for this phone. I'm not gonna be recording that but I do still need to test this phone out so uh, let's let's do that. I didn't even think about it. I just turned the phone on without even thinking about the fact that the power button wasn't originally working. But I'll show you guys now. There it is. That's working. That's great. <laughs> so that's finally done. It's working exactly as it is supposed to be working, which is so awesome. Because whenever I hear about power buttons no longer working, I usually fear the worst. I always assume that must be an issue with the power. Power. It must be an issue with the motherboard itself. Maybe some corrosion. I haven't put the face cam back in yet. I, I still, still gotta put that back in. Just realized that, and I saw it on on my area for safekeeping. But uh, that's all there is for this video. I'm not putting the phone back together completely because I need to take the screen out and I need to do the back glass still. It is in very, very rough shape. So that's what I'm doing next. Uh, so if you guys like the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.